Aloha, I'm Hawaii wedding officiant Kim Cronella, and I'm here with tips for couples that are looking to get married on the island of Oahu. I often get contacted by couples and they will pick a beach, say Waimanalo Bay Beach, which is a very popular beach and you often see it uh, featured in magazines because of the spectacular uh, coastal view with the mountains behind it and there's little islands off the shore. It's just spectacular. And they'll say, oh, I've seen beautiful pictures of there at sunrise, but I would like to have my wedding there at sunset. Well, here's the issue. Sunset can be seen from certain parts of the island and sunrise can be seen by certain parts of the island. And when I say sunrise and sunset, I mean where the sun is actually rising out of the ocean or actually setting into the ocean. Now, if you're in parts of the island where you can't see that, you will see colors up in the, the clouds um, from the sunrise and the sunset, but you don't actually see the sun rising out of the ocean or setting into the ocean, which is what most people, when they talk about sunrise or sunset, that is what they're talking about. They actually can physically see the sun rising and setting. So if you're looking to get married on the island of Oahu and you would like to have your wedding at a certain beach, and you want it at a certain time of day, you need to make sure that you're able to see that or you understand, like say you're going to wanna to have your beach uh, where you see the sunrise colors, but you don't ne necessarily see the sun setting on Waimanalo Bay Beach, you're going to need to have it a little earlier than the actual time that the sunset is expected to happen because there is a uh, mountain chain that runs down the middle of the island and that is what will block the view. That's what blocks the view from people who aren't able to see the sunrise and people who aren't able to see the sunset. So once the sun goes up and over the mountains range and goes down below it, it's gonna start to get darker soon. And so you're not gonna wanna have it your ceremony at the same time as if you're having a sunset ceremony at a beach that you can actually see the sun set into the ocean. Same thing goes with sunrise. So uh, Waimanalo Bay Beach is an excellent beach to go see the sunrise uh, and have a sunrise ceremony. Um, however, uh, if you wanted to get married at sunrise in say around the Waikiki area, uh, you're not going to see the sunrise at the same time. It takes a while for the sun to come up and over the mountains before you can actually see the sunrise. So um, keep that in mind if you're coming to Oahu, and I always help my couples. So if you are gonna get married on the island of Oahu and you would like to have a sunrise or sunset ceremony at a beach or a park, and uh, you would like to have a non-religious ceremony uh, that's love-centric based on your journey as a couple, contact me. I'm more than happy to help you uh, figure out what time sunset will be, uh, what's a good time for the beach that you'd like, or I can recommend a beach where you can see it. Different times of the year also, the sunrise and sunset is not visible from different times because the sun moves uh, across the sky. So um, those are all things to take into consideration and having a helpful wedding officiant like myself can be very valuable. Another thing that's very valuable is my wedding uh, website, WeddingsOnOahu.com. I have lots of helpful resources for couples that are looking to get married on the island of Oahu and in Hawaii, as well as I have great resources for anyone anywhere who wants to have a Hawaii-themed wedding or a luau-themed reception anywhere in the, uh, in the world. So visit WeddingsOnOahu.com for more information and contact me if you would like to get married on the island of Oahu. Thanks for watching. Aloha.